guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be... Um... Yeah, so, today I'm going to be doing a at-home photo shoot. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm really excited because I wanna do a photo shoot at home because I'm really bored. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy me trying to do a photo shoot at home. So find any white background and set up a camera. So the first picture I'm gonna be taking is a flower themed picture, and I'm also wearing a flowery top, so Keep in mind what outfit you're wearing so it kind of fits the theme of the photo. So an idea you could try is picking what kind of flower you want to use according to your outfit and the theme of the photo. And you can put it just on the side of the camera like this. And this is just such an easy and simple way to get a really, really cool photo. So just try experimenting with that idea. Also guys, I recommend if you're doing this alone, then put your camera up and press record. And then when you're editing it, you can just screenshot the photos you want. But if you're not doing it alone, then you can ask someone else to take the photos for you. Another idea is you can put the flowers right in front of your face and the only thing that's showing is your eyes. And this makes the focus of the photos your eyes, which is really, really cute and it's such a cool idea and it makes your eyes really stand out. Another idea is you can gather a lot of flowers according to the theme and you can throw them in the air and get a really really cool picture of flowers flying in the air and that's also a really cool idea. Okay guys, so for your next photo, change your outfit, your hairstyle, do something different and get any kind of prop. I wanted to make the colours the same. And then you want to get some bubbles and this is just a really cool idea bubbles can really make your photo really really cool also guys i recommend getting your shiniest lip gloss you have and putting it on because it really looks pretty when you take the photo because the light goes on it and it just looks really cute so i got someone else to just blow the bubbles on me and then i just posed and then i got a cute photo So for this next one, you want to create like a cloud effect, so you're going to be needing any kind of pillow stuffing, which you can get from the dollar store. And you're going to be needing some LED lights for the cloud effect. You can use any lights you want, I just had these old lights lying around so I thought I would use them. And you're obviously going to be needing yourself. So what you want to do is just lay out the lights like all zigzaggy and then turn them on and then get your pillow stuffing and just separate it into small parts and just put it on top of the light and make sure you make it thin so the light can actually be seen and then you should end up with something like this. And then you can just get someone to take the picture for you and you're done. So for the next one, again, I changed my outfit and I recommend changing it to a dark colored outfit. So when you put the lights in the picture, the lights will stand out. So what you want to do is kind of hang the lights on your shoulder and then you want to put blue tack on the other end of the light and then stick it to the end of your camera just like this. And this way you'll get a really cool light photo. You guys have probably seen this before on social media. So I thought I would try it out and it actually worked pretty well. So for this next one, you want to act like you're going to a party, so get your best dress, best earrings, best everything, and just dress up 
like crazy and then you want to get a really cool party backdrop so I'm just using like a typical gold foil backdrop and I thought it would go really really well with the dress and everything so I'm just going ahead and setting that up with glue tack if you also want a really cool effect you can use some like confetti and just drop it in front of the camera and you can get like a really cool effect and obviously at a party there's lots of lights so I'm using the light method that I just showed you guys earlier so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that So obviously once you've taken all your pictures you want to edit them and this is a really important step because it makes a big difference. So I like to use probably one of the most popular ones, Photoshop. This is really helpful and I totally recommend it. And the second app I like to use is Preview on my computer and yeah. That was it guys, really hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!